Okay, guys, this can be big. I'm going to give you guys five stocks. We'll be talking about five stocks. Some of these are penny stocks. Some of these are regular stocks, but they'll have very key levels on them. They're starting to see push. So all five of these are starting to see push, and all five of these have levels right where price is at now. So we will know if these are active within that first 30 minutes to an hour. We should know, okay? So make sure you're in the Discord room for tomorrow. First link in the description, and let's get straight into it. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get this video over 150 likes. I appreciate you guys for being on the channel. Make sure you watch the video before this one. I give you guys a technique to use, like on the hourly chart. You can really use that technique on any time frame, but I showed you on the hourly chart on how to trade in bearish markets, okay? I'm going to start posting stuff like that, episode one, episode two, to kind of give you guys some more learnings, and let's help that journey, help everybody get better in this career, okay? So first one will be Sundell Growers, ticker symbol SNDL, ticker symbol SNDL. Now, what I'm going to do is, on all these, I'm going to clear the whole chart, and we're going to put all new levels on here for you guys. So, Sundell Growers, ticker symbol, SNDL. Take that one off. Clear the chart. All new levels. Okay. Moved very nicely today. If we drop down to the five-day, five-minute chart, nice little run, kind of stalled out, and had that push for the last maybe like two hours or so, had a nice little push up. Now, that is good. That is what we want to see. Now, the buying level I'm looking at is 53 cents. Notice how it is right at that price. That's why, so what makes a level massive is when it's right at that price. So it's either gonna shoot up or it's gonna drop down. That's why these levels are massive because they're right at where price is now. So we wanna watch those very carefully. That 30, I mean not 30, the 53 cent area is the buying level I'm looking at. My first exit, because I am, I'll probably exit half at around 60 cents. And then once it gets up there, we really have to see what type of selling pressure comes in. That will be about a 13% gain. If it's heavy selling pressure, then I'll sell all of it for a 13% gain. If it's light selling pressure, then I'll sell half and let the other half kind of run higher. Okay. But those are the main two levels I'm looking at for right now on Sundell Roars, ticker symbol SNDL. Next one, BRQS. BRQS. We did talk about this one earlier today, but that buying level did break. So I did want to give you guys a new level and I actually like it because it's actually confirming something that we'll go over. So BRQS, penny stock, wash your risk management. Let's go ahead. And this is also why I try to give you guys levels so it can give you a little better guidance of what I'm looking at, if I'm looking to buy it. So if you see it right here when the buying level pops up, right, make sure you watch that video I posted before this one on the hour strategy on how to enter on bear markets because it will show you how to enter off this also. You can tell buying pressure came up, right? But it didn't give us that entry. Make sure you watch that video before this one. Didn't give us an entry, did not enter. Good thing we didn't because then what happened? It broke, almost came back up to a test that's resistance perfectly and dropped again. We don't buy that, right? So let's go ahead and clear the charts. All new levels that I'm looking out for. Now my level is a little lower so it's right at about 35 cents. So new buying level is 35 cents, only about a cent or two away from where price is. That is what makes it massive. So we're going to want to watch this one, that first hour, first 30 minutes. Uh, I'll, I'll probably say not no more than an hour. It should hit it, and we should know if we want to play it or not. First exit will probably be up to about, let me see, 40 cents. Okay, perfect. So my first exit will be right up to about 40 cents. That'll be about a 14% gain. And then depending on whether it's heavy selling pressure, light selling pressure, I'll exit the full position or I'll exit half of it. Okay. So main two levels I'm looking at for right now on BRQS. Third one, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. If you have any more uh, stocks you guys are looking at, make sure you comment them down below. It's the first link in the description. First link in the description. I mean, uh, what well, that's to join the team and then comment other stocks down below um, so I can uh, look at them and then give you guys key levels on those. So make sure you guys don't forget. Make sure you come follow me, will.knowledge. Let's get me over a thousand followers. Come like some photos, comment. Let me know that you came from YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Back to the video. Third one, VAL, ticker symbol, V-A-L-E, V-A-L-E. Um, let me make this ticker symbol a little bigger. I know some of you guys are on your phone. So V-A-L-E, let's take that off. Had some nice push today, right? Had some nice push today after hours. I didn't see any type of specific news on that. So um, nothing nothing like that. They did have like an earnings call, but that was kind of, I think that was before the market, I think so. 
So maybe it's earnings kind of pushing it. That might be a push or is somebody buying it after hours, but it's low volume. That's why I usually don't trade after hours or before market, anything like that. So let's go ahead and clear these levels off. What I like is it's pushing. So as long as it stays like, like it's, as long as it opens above 1680, it needs to stay above, like open above 1680, then 1665 will be my buying level. So what we want to do is we don't want to buy it when it opens high and it continues to shoot up. We don't want to buy that. We want to buy it when it opens high and it has a pull down. Okay, remember, let me say that again. If it opens high, we don't want to buy it if it shoots up. We want to buy it when it pulls down, gives us a buying level and the entry and confirmation that is when we get in to see prices go higher, okay? Because right now you want to have more precise type of trading. You want to have those longs built in. And don't worry, I will make a video after this one on earnings, okay? A, a lot of good uh, stocks played earnings today. I will go over those in the next video, so stay tuned for that one. But big buying pressure, 1665. First exit, I'm gonna still keep it around $18. Notice I said first exit. That'll be about an 8% gain. Now, the reason why I'm exiting half here is because usually I like to do 10%, but with this stock, it could be a little risky once it start getting up into these higher prices because it's been on a down pour. So with a deep retracement, might not be possible. So I do want to play it a little more cautious than the other ones, but I do like that level a lot to buy some shares, send it up to 18, because once we start getting to 18, 19, there's a lot of resistance up in this area. Okay, so we want to play it cautious. But those are the main two lows I'm kind of looking out for on Vow. Fourth one, Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge, will.knowledge. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. So ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Why did it go in like that? They take that off. So levels here. Yeah, as you can already tell, resistance level hit, ran up, per hit it perfect. Okay, hit it perfect. I don't know too many people getting levels perfect like me, but I am one of them. Just smash the like button, get the video 150 likes, share the video, subscribe if you are new. If you are new, my name is Will. I give you guys the best levels in the market every day. So resistance hit perfectly. Look at the high of that candle. It'll come right there. A dollar forty. What level did I give you guys? A dollar forty. What happened here? Resistance. What type of level was this? Resistance level. Pull back. Came back up. Resistance again. Pull back. That's why we don't buy it. Let's go back out to the 90 day, 30 minute chart. Now, what can be massive for, um, what can be massive for Mullen is actually that old resistance level, okay? So now this resistance level is actually turning to a buying level. So what we wanna see, very, very, very careful. We wanna see price push above this dollar forty area, and then once we see that, we want it. Want, we want a pullback. It doesn't need a pullback exactly down to that dollar forty area. It does not need to do that. But what we want is we want to push up above the dollar forty, push down. That will be our entry to send prices higher. That I think will be a phenomenal play, and I'm still looking for it to go up to about two dollars. So it presents a lot of returns we can get, over forty two percent returns. We just got to be patient. It's coming soon. Just mark my words. It's coming soon. Okay, we're going to get that play in. But those are the main levels I'm looking out for Mullen. And last one is Camber Energy, ticker symbol CEI. Ticker symbol CEI. Let's make this ticker symbol a little bit bigger. This is a penny stock also, so just make sure you watch that risk management. CEI right there. Clearly all of these. <clears throat> okay, buying level I'm looking at. This right where price is now. That's what makes it massive. 81 cents. 81 cents is the buying level that I'm looking out for tomorrow. We want to make sure that buying pressure is confirmed. We don't just buy a good level to hit. If you want to learn how to trade, make sure you join VIP. First link in that description. <clears throat> now, we can really take this one up to about <clears throat> 98 cents uh, to a dollar. <clears throat> uh, let's see. That'd be about a 23% gain. So from 81 cents to about a dollar, that'd be about a 23% gain. So some nice gains we can get in there. Just have to make sure that buying pressure level is confirmed, okay? So main two levels, watch those. And like, like I said, if there's any other things that uh, go on with any of these stocks, I'll update you guys as I see fit. 
then I will make an earnings video after this one because some of those stocks that had earnings today, I am, I do have heavy positions on for longs and they are looking good. <clears throat> so we'll go over that. Excuse me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, none of this recommendation of ours, so anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in that next one. Bye.